Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. I just whacked my hand on the on the table right here. That was fun. But hello, how are you doing? Happy Happy Christmas time coming up. Um, I hope you guys all are doing well. I thought I would come on today and do something fun. I have done one other thread up rescue box before and I thought it was pretty good. You know, it was my first one and I actually felt like it was a good deal. I got 30 pieces for $34 and then shipping made it like $39. So it was pretty reasonable and I got a lot of really good stuff. So um, I'm trying it again. Can my luck hold out? Will I get some good stuff or will it be rejects so hello everybody I hope you guys are doing well if you're watching this later I am live so if you're ever interested in catching me live make sure you hit the little bell next to the subscribe button usually I share it out on Facebook um, on in on my Facebook page Texas Gal Treasures or in my group Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers but I didn't time was of the essence today so I didn't get a chance because I have until three o'clock because I'm not I'm going to start making baked potatoes. We're going to have barbecue baked potatoes for dinner tonight. And everybody's coming. So I'm excited. And then we're going to go see Aquaman at the theater. We already got our tickets. I'm super excited. Um, oh, cool. Um, in the chat. Hi, Christine. Hi, Picky Chick. Hey, Maggie. Happy, happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. Have fashion reclaim. Kathy and Marcy. Hello. Hello, Dottie's Closet. Your junk jewelry box from ThreadUp was awesome. Only 20 bucks. Yeah, I saw they've got a new one. I'm very tempted to order another one. Hey, hey. Yeah, so let me flip it over. Let me see if I can. Because I wanted to show you guys. Oh, I've got too many windows. They, I know. <laughs> Come in. I have a funny story about him, but I mean, it's not that my, it's not my story, but it's something I saw. Um, but yeah, I got this mixed jewelry. If you can see it over here. But then I saw they had this one choose 10 pounds of jewelry for 20 bucks so that was an option that wasn't there last time so i'm like ooh, maybe i'll get 10 pounds of jewelry and now i don't think it's going to be as high quality but goodness you never know right <clears throat> as we've learned with so many things everybody doesn't know what everything is so they may not know what they're throwing in there um hello ravina high texas sparkle and picky chick if i missed you <laughs> hello hello so yeah i was watching um it was on on YouTube, if you Google, it's like BBC, some news show. I, Graham Norton, I think, is what he is. Not a great, but a night show, a night show. Um, and he had uh, Jason Momoa on there. He was talking about, I guess, when Jason Momoa, when couples ask him to take pictures, it's totally off topic. Sorry, you guys. Whenever couples are like, "Hey, can we get a picture with you?" Instead of just like standing there, like taking a picture, he does funny things. Like he'll like make like hug up to the girl and like be pushing the guy away or like have his foot kicked out like he's kicking the man away and like dipping the woman you know so apparently he's a really um, fun loving kind of guy so i'm pretty uh, excited to see it i loved him in um game of thrones you know so and and i saw him in an interview after that apparently this is turning into jason momoa talk <laughs> can we just have a jason momoa chat once a week um <laughs> but he um he apparently couldn't get a job for a long time after Game of Thrones because people thought he didn't speak English, even though Dothraki's not a real, wasn't a real language. Anyway, yeah, he can hug me, exactly. Yeah, he's married to um, Lisa Bonet, right? From, from the Cosby show from a long time ago. Thank you so much, Ravina. Oh, I see you found some sterling a lot. Was some of it was broken, but like if you're a crafter, you're selling craft lots, like take what you want out of it, sell the craft lot stuff. Okay, let's dive into this. So last time it ended up being pretty good. This time, I mean, come on, two, two times in a row. Hello, Tiki, how's it going? Thanks so much for coming, you guys. I know it's the holidays. Do you have family coming in? I know I ask you that this a lot or da 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 da. Okay, hello, we're here if you need us. Awesome, thank you, Throw That. I appreciate that. Hello, Crystal Rain. Okay, so here, eat drink and be thrifty that's a cute sticker and then ceiling deal since 2009 <clears throat> they always package it up so nice okay picky chick says i bought two 30 piece thread up jewelry rescue boxes they were both okay no diamonds though <laughs> we'll keep trying <laughs> okay so let's see oh yeah the opera guy <laughs> i mean he's okay looking i guess i mean if that's your type <laughs> i guess he'll do Whatever. <laughs> okay, so um, again, I really like how they package things up. They've got you know everything sealed up in little boxes. Little boxes on the hillside. Little boxes made of ticky tacky. 
Little boxes on the hillside and they all look just the same. There's a brown one and a brown one and a brown one and a brown one. And they're all made out of ticky tacky. Let's hope it's fun. Here we go. <laughs> all right, first, so there should be 30 pieces. Okay, hang on. Tangles. Um, <clears throat> okay, so first up is a Christopher and Banks necklace that looks like this. Oh, it's scratched up. Or is that just something on it? Maybe it's paint on it. I think it's paint. I think there's something on it. I don't think it's scratched. I think that's just like something on there. So I might be able to get it off. Maybe. If not, it, it'll end up in a craft lot. Eh. That's messed up, though. That is messed up. Okay, so that's going straight probably into a craft lot. But, you know, honestly, these bits, if you could take them off, the chain is still pretty nice. Mm. Anyway, okay, so there's that. The next is this one. I like these little purpley stones. They kind of look like garnet beads, but they're, I've seen more purpley ones and more red ones. I'm trying to see what the hang tag says. Oh, got to turn it around. So, yeah, did you guys watch Game of Thrones when it was on? Or it's not over yet, but who do you think is going to end up on the Iron Throne? Hmm, I have a suspicion. So, this is 925. I think that's Sulpata. Um, the mark underneath it, do you see the little arrowy doodads? I think, I think that's Sulpata. I'm going to have to look, double check because it's like two arrow things and then inside it there's like a little rhombus tilty cube um <laughs> Jim says i am bend the knee i will not bend the knee to you that would be like your wildest dream come true whatever <laughs> i will be on the throne there we go i just looked at this like my eyeshadow is super pink today we'll just we'll just pretend like it's you know how it goes okay so let's google silpata mark I think it is a Silpata piece. Yay, okay. I'm going to show you. All right, here we go. So if you can see, I'm going to try to zoom it. Let me zoom in. So this mark right here is what's on the back of it, this one right here. So Silpata is a good brand. I'll have to, um, okay, why are you doing that now? Okay. Um, look this one up because there are people that really like Sulpata stuff. So this is silver and Sulpata. You binge watched it. I mean, I know it can be gruesome and I know it can be, there's some really brutal stuff that happens, but then at the same time, the storyline is just wild. And when, just when you think you know what's going to happen, poof, forget about it. Everything you think, you know, gone. These are nice. If they're not any missing stones, they're kind of fun. Okay, so there's these earrings. And at first I thought they were just like plastic, but they are kind of this, mm, there's texture to them. And then, oh, I, we've had this brand before, Alexis Bitar. I think that's a fair brand. So I'll have to look this up and make sure, well, first I'll have to make sure it's not missing any stones. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, because it's hard to see in there, but it's got a kind of like iridescence to it. I think the light's too bright for you to, to catch it. But when I'm looking at it, it's kind of got a bluey, pinky iridescence. Yeah, it's not really picking it up in the camera too much. Yeah, that's a great brand, right? Sweet. Ooh, they're still not my style, but fun all the same. Look at that. Hello, YouTube. I've got these. It's like they overshadow your eyes. So maybe if you're somebody with small eyes, they would be awesome. But I think if you have big eyes, maybe they'd still be okay if you really. But if you have normal eyes. Then maybe these aren't for you. <laughs> Caved Lysa. Ooh, cool. Carved. I said caved. Oh my gosh. Such a ding dong. Super cool. Yes. Okay. We'll put those with the Sulpatas. Aren't they nice? Good. Do your eyes, are your eyes the adequate size for them? <laughs> I'm just teasing. <laughs> See, big eyes, you're good. Little eyes, you're good. Regular eyes. It's like all you want to do is look at these. <laughs> okay. These are the things we think about. <laughs> um, okay, these are fun too. So these are like mixed metal. They've got the copper, the brass, and I'm trying to see what I think this. 
I think it's just more brass that's, I don't know, what do you think? What it's set in, but those are fun. I mean, they're not my style, but I can see somebody really liking them. And then that looks like a passion flower, you know? Right, cool. Oh, if you had really big hair too, yeah. I kind of poofed mine out today, I poofed it. Ah. So, okay, so far so good. We've only had one piece that was a flop and three that are pretty good. All right, not bad. Um, Hang on, I'm missing stuff in the chat. <laughs> All, by the way, the rescue items are not in boxes, but in a plastic bag. Okay, that's. I wondered about that, the 10 pounder. I wondered, I was like, man, because they're probably just like push, pushing it all in to get them out. Yeah, frosted, that's another good word. Yeah, those are kind of fun. At first I was like, oh, they're just plasticky. No, oh, those are fun, I like. Okay, then next up, we've got a pair of just little drop pearls. Those are nice, simple little earrings, like so. Not bad, not bad, okay. Not too shabby. We've got something else with a maker's mark. So it is this necklace, hang on. I'm trying to get them all twisted. Oh, they're not wanting to twist the right way. They all wanna do their own thing. You can go your own way. Go your own way. Um, They're all little flowers. Some It looks like some of them have a stone. I guess they all have a stone but some are closed up more than others. And then the maker on this one, it looks like copper. <laughs> it looks like a copper penny, right? Can we read it? Can you guys read it? I can't read it backwards. So, <clears throat> you know, Marcy, I have, I have a haul that I'm going to show you guys soon of some that I did buy. And I was honestly just like, do I want to share that I actually did this and bought it because it came and it was garbage. So I'm like, maybe I should show it just to see like, beware, buyer beware. Cause I got it and it's sitting over there and I'm like, mm, do I really want to show that? But maybe I should, you know, the ins and outs, right? Liz Palacios, SF. Oh, I had a student named Ignacio Palacios my first or second year teaching, he was super into Greek mythology. So I wonder where he is today. That was a long time ago, 1999 or so, 2000. Okay, <laughs> it's funny. All right, so that's kind of cool. That's okay, I don't know that maker. I'll have to look that one up, Liz Palacio. You hate getting lots like that. Flower brass tone, yes, thank you. Okay, then, Next is this stretch one. It's got that pebbled look around it. Stretchy stretch. And it's not missing any stones. The stretch is still good in it. Um, I don't tend to sell these personally. I just don't. Um, but I don't know. Maybe it'll go with some other ones. I mean, it's in good shape. And I think I've got some other in my bracelets over there, maybe. Um, probably shipping tight here. Uh, oh, that's a good idea. I didn't think about that. Ooh, next up, we've got a Chico's ring. It still has a tag. And it's kind of this gunmetal kind of color. <laughs> my dad apparently has one volume level. He's on my patio outside. And he's talking on the phone, I think. Or else he's heckling golfers, one or the other. <laughs> um, I think it's missing a stone. It might be missing a stone in there, but it's so, yeah. You can see there. But it's almost not even noticeable. That's pretty cool, though. Yeah, isn't that nice? I mean, nobody would notice that. Unless you were like, I know, so I could never wear it. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, so that's the first little boxy. Boxy, boxy. Let's see what's next. That's one. Let's count how many pieces were in there. Yeah, that's a good idea. I'm trailing it. Oh wait. Oh yeah. You're tra oh, okay. Yeah. Let us know how it goes. One, two. Uh oh, that one went on the floor. No, it's there. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. So there was eight in there. This one 
yeah, my little loop. I got I, I got it on Amazon, I think. I think I have it. If you look in my description, I probably have it listed down below somewhere. Um, hello, Rihanna, and how's it going? <clears throat> um, looking in the chat to see if I missed anything. Yeah, my dad's out on the on the patio, on the deck outside. Um, okay, so next box. Let's see what we have. Ooh. Okay, here we go. There is this necklace that is a commitment. This is, I mean, wow. I'm just wondering. I okay. Do you do this too? Tell me. Like when you see it, you go, do you wonder like who one who, and two what outfit? You know, because I just I don't have anything that I could imagine. Because one, it's big, and then two, it's not like like you can wear it up here. It's like long. I mean, I guess you could hook it on a different. It's like crazy long. And then it's like, that would drive me bananas. I'd probably do that all day too. Like, hey, you guys don't mind this, do you? Because I, I just can't stop, right? And I, I have to do this dance with it too. <laughs> Apparently is what I have to do, <laughs> right? Santa should get him an arrow and annoy the passing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, one time, like a golfer hit a ball and was like searching for it. My dad was like, it's over there. <laughs> It's over there. Yeah, anyway. A belt for skin. Hey, yeah. Maybe it is a belt. It could totally be a belt for my sister. That'd be fun. Yeah. Maybe a long black tunic top. There we go. See, Maggie, you're good at that, though. If you guys don't know, Maggie's really good at accessorizing and, like, dressing. And sorry if I made fun of a necklace that anyone liked. But it's fun, right? It would have to be something that had a higher top, I would think, up here. Because, I don't know. A dark, maybe. Not a, not a dress like this where it would just blend right in, right? A maxi dress. There we go. You guys are getting me back on track. Thank you. <laughs> You're setting me straight. Pay attention, Margaret. <laughs> maybe. Oh, yeah. Maybe. I have a couple munch packs downstairs. I bet he would enjoy that. <laughs> maybe. May, well, we are going to be going up to my sister's next weekend, or this, not this weekend that we're doing right now, but the next weekend. So maybe I can bring it up and my sister, my dad, and I can do a munch pack. Yeah, that'd be fun. Because y'all haven't seen my sister in a while, not since before her hip surgery, right? It's been a long time since she's been on, this, on the channel, right? So we're going to go up there. You're gonna sh we're going to shoot some guns. Um, but yeah, we are. I told her I was going to beat her. She can't outshoot me. So, okay, this looks like an Alex. I mean, this one's an Alex and Annie for sure. And I love the compass rose on it. Fun fact, I used to collect compasses and compass rose stuff. So, I don't know. I might keep that just out of, I mean, I love, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. My, she's doing so well. Like, she's finally, you know, doesn't have to use a walker anymore. She's walking around. She's getting around. She's doing great. Oh, she's finally getting, it's like, almost like she feels like she's getting her life back, you know, that hip surgery threw her for a loop. She had to do it. <laughs> he wouldn't wear, I bet you could rock it though, Maggie. Okay. So then two, this, oh, this is an Alex and Annie too. It just doesn't have any other charms on it. Here's another thing about this, right? This big long one. If you're a, a woman who has a, like a, a chest, like it's going to like go to the, to the shelf of the chest. And then it's going to be like hanging off the edge, right? Like somebody hanging onto the edge of a cliff, like, ah, I'm not supposed to be here. You know, I mean, that's what it would be like for me. So I couldn't do it because the end of this would be like, please don't let me fall off the edge of the cliff. So maybe for somebody who's got a little less <laughs> friend. Um, yeah, it's, I know, honestly, Princess Casserole, I have it's a sickness, I think. But I, I keep telling myself, oh, well, I won't buy so much in the new year. I'm going to start selling things. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Hang on. Okay, so we've got a charm bracelet, right? And one of them already said sterling on it. And I'm trying to see, do we know this brand? 
I, is it a Pandora? It's got an O. I'm gonna look on the side of the charms. It's an O with a little crown on top. Okay, because I, let me look on the side of this charm. Oh, that's a Pandora charm. So right there, there's a, I know there are knockoff ones. I don't know how to tell for sure, but there's a stopper to keep them from running. And then there is, that's a lacrosse, that's a lacrosse, um, is that lacrosse or is that field hockey? I think there's a lacrosse. <clears throat> Hang on. Ooh, that says Sterling A-L-E is the brand on that one. A-L-E. Um, yeah, that's a good idea. I, I keep looking for the, um, the coach ones again. I haven't seen another coach one that S95 A L E. So this may just be a charm bracelet. Somebody just started putting their own charm. Some are Pandora, some are something else. This white cleary one is says Pandora. I'll come show you better. So there's a heart. There's this one. Then there's this stopper. A L E is Pandora. Is that right? Okay. I didn't know A L E was Pandora. And then there's this little stock, um, like a Christmas stocking. So cute. Okay, it's stuck. And I think, I mean, I guess that owes a Pandora. I'm not sure. All right, so that's sweet. I love the little birdie. Did I show you the bird? Well, it keeps wanting to flip over and show you its bottom. Come on, little bird. Look at my bottom. So cool. Yeah, this is really nice. So there's that. I'd probably take the charms and sell, I mean, some of them anyway, like the lacrosse one would probably go by itself. Somebody would want just the lacrosse one. The bird, um, I don't know, it's a nice little charm bracelet. Okay, cool. Hmm, okay, then, yeah, I because that's the thing, like if somebody was going to buy just the whole bracelet, like they would have to be in the lacrosse and birds, I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, that's that's sweet. That's a nice bracelet. Okay, so far so good. I think definitely getting my 30, whatever, 40 bucks with shipping. Yeah. Okay, hang on, I missed something. Learning something new. Oh, wow, like 20 to 30 bucks a charm, sweet. I've got, Randy's gotten me some Pandora jewelry, but not a, like a charm bracelet like that. I have a charm bracelet like that was made by, um. Another company, I can't think of what it's called now. Um, might do some bags, like the ba uh, bag unboxing or like to sell some bags. <laughs> I've got so much stuff, yeah. How do I, I, Alex and Annie, I've sold to viewers. I haven't actually sold any, because most of the Alex and Annie I've gotten, before I can even think about listing it, I've had a viewer say, oh my gosh, I want your Alex and Annie you know, I've gotten one that was like Zodiac one, and I've gotten, I think I put one in my auction too one time. Um, lacrosse for weddings? Could be a wedding ring. Oh, maybe. Okay, so the next step, Mia and Tess earrings. They're sweet. Um, I don't know this brand, but apparently they like their stuff because they were selling these earrings for $20. Okay. Why? I don't know. But there they are. I mean, they're okay. They're pretty, you know, simple, regular. Then we've got some paparazzi, your favorite and mine. Paparazzi. So there's the earrings that are these little just triangles. And then there's also a pendant that just, I can't imagine. That just doesn't even look, I mean, it's bubbling. Right, the finish on it is bubbling up. It's weird. Who's like, I think this, I mean, if you're gonna put your name on jewelry, that's not good quality. Yeah. <clears throat> um, okay, so there's that. And then, oh, this, is, this is actually a really good box. I, I think it might be better than the last one. Ooh. Okay, so this, oh, it's twisted around. I'm trying to get it. It's a little bracelet and it's got hearts. You know, it's like a, it moves, articulated. I'm trying to, let me undo it so I can see if there's a maker on it. Um, 
I know, right? I I guess there are people that sell paparazzi jewelry. Is it like one of those um, marketing, you know, mom to mom type marketing deals? I know M to M may not stand for that. I don't. Oh wait, I don't see a maker's mark, but I do see a mark that says nine to five in there. Let me make sure that's all it says. I think that's all it says. Nine two five magnet time, just in case, because you know. Okay, it is magnetic, but it could be the coating on it, or it could be like the pins that they've used to connect the pieces together, maybe magnetic. I don't know. Anyway, you've seen it in a lot of local craft shells. Yeah. <coughs> I don't know. I just couldn't. I just couldn't. You know? All right. And I couldn't in good faith ask my friends to buy it from me. <laughs> Multi-layered marketing. I call it mom-to-mom -mom marketing. Let's get on my soapbox here. Mom-to-mom -mom because these moms are always trying to sell it to these other moms. And then they've got their own thing that they're trying to M to M. -M. And then I know it says MLM, but maybe we'll change two to la. Mom la mom. A la mom a la mom. I don't know. Forget it. I can't make it work. It's not going to be a thing, Margaret. All right, so these are Kenneth Cole, and they're these like dark blue, sapphire y colored earrings. <laughs> so those are cute. Those are nice. Yeah, not too bad. I mean, those would actually go with my, my dress that I have on today. So, <laughs> yeah, I just don't. I mean, and that's the thing. When you meet, meet a new mom friend, and then they're trying to sell you the stuff, and then you're like, wait, did you like me because you like me, or you want me to be a customer? You know what I mean? And then you've got, I've got some mom friends that it's like, I know you like me. I know we're friends, but why is it every time you talk to me, you're trying to sell me something? That's why I think selling online is way better. Right? That blue is so pretty. <laughs> and then they want you to like join their team <laughs> for some reason. What was the last one that tried to get me to join? It was like a skincare regiment or something. And I was just like, what was it? What was it called? I can't remember what it was called. But yeah, I'm like, really, you see me joining your team? You see me as a good fit? <laughs> I could not. Okay, next box. I didn't count that out, but that's okay. It's supposed to be 30 pieces. Ooh, we've got some bracelets. Here we go. First bracelet is, it's okay, this one. All the little stony things are different shades. Um... I can't tell if I like it or not. They look like they're kind of mother of pearly. <clears throat> Made relationships. Yeah. I'm looking to see. Oh, these are like bead beads. You can see the holes in some of the beads. Can you see the holes? Um, yeah, it really did. You know, yeah. <laughs> For sure, pyramid skates. I just couldn't. Yeah. Okay, so there's that. And then you want to help a friend out, but just like, man, I really don't need another, like, garlic press. <laughs> All right, and then there's this bracelet. It's a stretchy one, but it's got, oh, thank you. Yeah, I, I got some backgrounds. I was trying some out. I had a pink one up the other day. Just got sick of looking at the wall. So, oh, the sticker nails, yeah. The sticker nails. What was another one? Um, I don't know. I can't even think of one. There's jewelry ones. There's, okay, that one's okay. I mean, I'll, it'll probably go, I probably won't sell it by itself. It'll probably go into a lot. Honestly, overall, it's been pretty, pretty good um, box. This is a nice piece. This is a Brighton. It does not scream Brighton when you first see it, but it says it on the inside. Brighton. Brighton. And then it's got these leather pieces. It's in really good shape. And then, it doesn't just stick closed. You have to like slide it to secure it. Oh, I like that. Because you know, a lot of times those magnetic ones, they just pop open. So this one's got a magnet and you have to slide it. That's cool. Ooh, now how do you get that on with one hand is what I want to know. Seriously. How, I mean, if you're a single woman, this is not the bracelet for you. Unless you've got a secret weapon. <laughs> I can't get it on. <laughs> See? This is the only time I need a man or another woman in my life <laughs> to help me. I'm kidding. 
because <laughs> I need to get this on. Look, I can't even. I can't even. So, just saying. No, nope, it won't go over the hand either. I would need help getting this on. Maybe that's why it ended up in the box. If you're like, I don't like asking my husband for help because he never lets me forget it. Remember that time I helped you get that bracelet on? Um, now I need you to like poach me some eggs. <laughs> Remember that time I helped you get that bracelet on? Well, now I need you to rotate my tires. <laughs> anyway. So it's really cool. Yeah, tonight it's really well made. <clears throat> Pretty cool. Okay. And if you had somebody to help you put it on, it'll look even better. <laughs> okay, next we've got another flat box. <laughs> Hello, Rosalie. How's <laughs> yeah, you would have to ask Dan, you would have to ask permission to get it taken on and off. Because you couldn't do it by yourself. This is true. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like jewelry I have to fight with for, for real. Yeah, but it's nice. Ooh, wow. There's only one thing in this box, and it is this. You know where I'm going to put it in a minute. I don't think I, I don't think this is really real coral. Don't think. I think it's plastic made to look like it. Let's see. I mean, it's got the pits and all that in it, but then if you look at, like, I don't know. Yeah, that's interesting the way they've done that. Okay. All right, here. Yes, this is. Oh no! Oh gosh, it doesn't want to stay put. Hang on, I can make this work. You and me, necklace. Yeah, it even sounds plastic. So I'm pretty sure it's just plastic made to look like coral. Okay, we're gonna do this. All right, coral, uh, oh gosh, there's a thing you can do to like make it foam. Oh gosh, is it, it's not milk, is it? Is it milk? No, that, that's to tell if it's dyed. Um, <laughs> oh, this is not working for me. Okay, I can't make it, it's, I can't make this one work for my head. Um, somebody in the chat for sure will remember. Living coral is the Pantone color, yeah. So there's this, again, a very, you'd have to be committed to this necklace, but I can see somebody really liking that. I mean, I like that color. Okay, there's that. There we go. <laughs> I look like Carrie. I just had the blood spilt on me like that. <laughs> like that, Carrie? <laughs> you will all pay. That's when my magical powers come out, right? It, yes, yeah, definitely a statement piece. Okay, then we've got two pieces in here. And the first one, ooh, okay. Not come to me. Yeah, for sure. All right, uh-oh, nope, there's three pieces. Nope, there's four pieces. Oh, those are earrings. Okay, cool. We have a necklace on a very dainty chain but it also is telling you something. There is a little skull with a very blingy crystal on top. I'm a skull with a crystal on my head. And let me look at that. There's like a stamp, I can see it. Uh, no, it's not really a stamp. It just is indented. Hmm, okay. Well, well, I mean, his eyes are heart shaped, or her. Can you even tell that they're heart shaped? So even though he's kind of scary, he wants to be cute. Okay, all right. There's that. Not too bad. Not too bad. Then, <laughs> yeah, great Halloween joy. I'm sure motivated, mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not bad. Okay, then. Here we go. These little earrings. Oh, there's earrings to match. If you're like, I need matching set. There's the, I mean, they're really blingy. I mean, that's even coming across. They're very, makes me wonder if they're Swarovski or something. Cause they're definitely blingy. Hang on. 
but they're, they're magnetic. Okay, so girl skulls have heart shaped eye holes. Okay, good to know that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then next are these earrings. They've got kind of like a periwinkle. No, they're kind of like a almost like a moonstoney kind of bead. You can see the iridescence in them. Oh, what is that called? It's not moonstone. What is that called, guys? Or is it? Help me. Do you see the blue kind of iridescence in those stones? Mm, what's that called? I can't think. I cannot remember. Okay, they are not magnetic. Moist. Oh, yeah, they look. Yeah, that would be awesome if we had some moissanite in here. Okay, I'm going to look close with my, my loop on these earrings. That, hang on. <clears throat> oh, yeah, kind of like a labradorite, yeah. King. The back of the earring says 120th, so it's probably like gold filled or something. I'm gonna look at the stem just in case. I don't see anything. Do, do, do. Oh, yeah, I do. Hang on. Eh, it's so hard to read, but it's like 120th something something, so it's probably gold, like 120th. I mean, like gold filled. Cool. So those are those are cool. They're, they're not my style, but they're cool. Okay, there they go. Back in the box. <clears throat> okay, this has been a really good box. So far, we've only had one piece that was like, no way, because <clears throat> it was damaged. All right, next box. Cool. All right, we've got a big kind of knuckle ring, and it's it looks like a hematite kind of stone like flat stone in there oh don't do that that's stuck I tried to stick anyway when my lights too close so you're getting a big glare so let me get it closer 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 no too far no okay it's hard to see it's very reflective anyway <laughs> i don't see any marks on it but it's cool that's pretty cool then um, oh, it's just an R. I don't know. You might, if you're in Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers, throw throw a picture up in there and we'll help you find it. Somebody will know. Somebody in there knows everything. Well, just a bit. Okay, you can't wear them that big. Yeah, these are kind of fun. They've got that kind of amber-ish look to the stones. When I look at them from, yeah. I mean, they're not amber, but they're kind of tortoiseshelly amber looking. That's the back, I'll tell you. And Erica Lyons, if that's the correct card for them. So, those are cool. Hello, Granny Josie. We're opening a thread up box. So far, it's been pretty good. We've had a couple of duds, but mostly good stuff and quite a bit of silver. Oh yeah, oh, they are kind of honeycomb shaped. I wonder if she would wear them because she doesn't wear like big jewelry. But who knows, right? Okay, the next is this kind of basket weave ring, and this one is marked 925 in there. So, that's nice. That's a nice little ring. To do Not too shabby. And, hang on, I see another mark. Maybe I don't. Maybe it's just the 925. I thought I saw something else. Okay, so we got a little silver ring in there. Cool. And then this one, I think that says Faded Glory. And there's that. It kind of matches these earrings a little bit. Not exactly, but kind of. Sort of, kind of. I think my light's too bright. I don't know if I can fix it right now, though. <coughs> yeah, for sure. Nice box, 34 bucks. Yeah. So it's definitely worth the 30, it was like 35, but then with shipping, it ended up being 40. So that I think it says faded. No, that doesn't say faded glory, does it? What does that say? Oh, that's Park Lane. Okay. So that is a Park Lane 
piece. Oh, that's a good idea, Crystal Rain. All right, so there's that. And Oh, no, there's something else in this box. Ooh, this looks like gold. Could it be real gold? Would they send me real gold? Probably not, but we're going to look at it. Hang on. Let me see if I can make my light less bright. I'm going to get right in your face here for a second. No, that's the wrong way. There. A little brighter. <laughs> I've not mastered my new light yet. Okay. So, it's just putting off too much reflection for some of this jewelry. All right, let's take a peek at it. Okay, first, before I get my hopes up, I'm going to get my magnet. Here we go. They wouldn't really send gold to somebody, would they? Would they? Hmm. I can't tell what that says. It looks like a messed up stamp of a 17. I'm about to go get my, my, my gold testing kit. Because it really does look like gold. Hmm. I'll tell you what. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, I'm pretty, I feel pretty strongly that it's gold. Um, cause it's not, I don't see a clear mark in there. There is a stamp, but it's like really messy kind of. So yeah, I'm going to, at the end of the, the video, I'm going to test it. Okay. All right. You wait here while I get my kit. There's one more little box in here and I will, I'll go get it. It's right over there. I'm gonna leave that right. I'm gonna leave it right here. No way. With because it's not clearly marked. It does not have like a clear stamp in there. But it has the look. Like, did I miss it? Am I missing something here? Okay, one more time. No. You reuse the boxes, yeah. All right, what do you guys think? It really does have that that look. No, not too bad. Yeah, picking treasure. Oh, the process of the testing. Yeah. Okay. So then, do I have gloves? This is what I need to know. Okay, one more box in here, and then I'll go get the. Uh, I'll have to see if I have any gloves over there. I need to get a box of. I bet Randy has gloves downstairs. <clears throat> right. The prongs look good. It looks. It looks legit. Right. I don't know the stone. We can play with my stone tester too. Ooh, okay. It's not exactly jewelry. Well, it kind of is, I guess. So then we've got this, which I think is a choker. We're doing it. All right, here we go. It's like a choker, like there. Oh my gosh, I was looking at these shoes that I really want to buy, but I have nowhere to wear. They're, and they're, they're Marie Antoinette themed. They're adorable. <sighs> If you follow me on Facebook, I'll, t I'll uh, share a picture of them over there. But like, they're all pink, and pinks and blues like this. And then on the back of the heel, they're kind of wide heels. On the back of one of the heels is like quotes from her. And on the back of the other heel is like a guillotine. <laughs> so, and then on the toes, there's like a little picture of what Marie Antoinette. And then on the other toe, it's like a, like a cake, like a big fancy cake. <laughs> Yeah, so I'll share. I, I did not order the shoes, but I was like, man, these shoes are so cool. I even, my mom even thought they were cool, and she usually thinks I have very weird taste. And then these, I think, are hair bands. Are these hair bands? I don't know. I mean, I'm going to open them. Okay. It says they're fashion jewelry. Fashion jewelry. I mean, is that a bracelet? Is that what that's supposed to be? Just like a... That's weird. Help. Somebody? Does anybody know? What is up with that? Uh, hair ties? Yeah. <laughs> I think they're hair ties. Yeah, the Marie uh, Yeah, don't they? Okay. And I, I will tell you that the, the company, I can't remember the name of the company. There's something chocolate, chocolatier. 
or something like that. But I did order some shoes from them. I'm really excited. Okay, then we've got another choker like the other one. So there. They look like ponytail holders. Okay, so that was that. I'm going to walk right there if you want to hang out. We're going to test this ring. And I'll get the stone tester, too, and we'll test the stone in it. Because I have, I mean, pink topaz. Is that what we think might be? It's pretty. Or just some lab created something. But it won't tell the difference between lab created and regular. Okay, here we go. You ready to look at something blue? <laughs> we'll play I Spy. <laughs> Let's see who gets it. I Spy something blue. Here, ready, set, go. <coughs> Coming. I'm getting it. Give me a second. Hang on. Okay, there's that. And that. No. I need gloves. Let's see. Okay. There's the tester. <laughs> okay. There's that. There's that. Let's see if I have any gloves in the box. Oh, I don't have any gloves. How careful do I think I can be? Can I do it without gloves? Oh. I know Randy has some gloves downstairs. Let me try it without. Let's see if I can be. <laughs> it's the backdrop. <laughs> you got it. Okay, so I have my little stone thingy. I ordered a new one. It's over there, but I haven't pulled it out yet. So I have, oh, because they're acids. So the acids will burn you. Um, you know, this is the other acid. Um, so I have the acids to test the gold. Then I have like the Presidium gem tester to test the gems. Oh, I don't have my phone in here. The boys are playing on it. Or I'd call Randy to bring me gloves. Okay, I'll be very careful. I'll wash my hands right after. How about that too? So here's this. I'm going to scratch on the from the, a piece of the um, ring that's not going to be super visible. So on the back part, I'm going to make a straight line going across like so. So I've got this line down here. And then what I'm going to do is I'll start with a 10K, but I have a feeling if it's gold, it's probably 14K just from the color of it. Um, so. What I'll do then is I'll take this and I'll put like a little dab, carefully, I don't need a lot, over the, okay, let's close it up, put it away. Um, so then you can see, maybe, do you see, okay, so it's going to be gold, um, where the, you can still see the line underneath where the acid is, you can still see it, because if it was not gold, then the, Acid would have like eaten away it and it would have been there, it would have been gone. So you can still kind of see it. Okay, so now I'm gonna get the 14k acid. So that means that it's 10 carat or better. So if the 14k one makes it go away, then it's gonna be like 10 or 12k. If the 14k stays, then it's 14k or better, probably 14, but we'll look. Okay, so then. Let's take a peek. I put too much, so it's gonna try to drip. Oh, uh, don't drip. Oh, I need a tissue. Hang on, I got a tissue. Let me try to dab some of this up. Okay. So let's see. Ah! Okay, so I'm trying to see if I can still see it under there. Hang on, I'm gonna do it again. I think I need to do it just flat <laughs> and look at it because it, when I do that, it like starts to drip away. Okay, let me try it, try it one more time. Do, 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 do. I'm rubbing it. Okay. I mean, it's good that the color of the scratch is also gold in color. <laughs> that helps too. Okay. Uh oh. Right, exactly. You just went from cute to beautiful. <laughs> Okay, let me do this one more time. I'm just going to go flat. You get the idea, though, because <laughs> I'm just going to start flinging acid everywhere, which is not good, right, on my laptop. Okay, and then I'm just going to look at it. And then I'm going to wash my hands before I get the gym tester going. Okay. You know, the, the 14K looks like it's disappearing. So... 
it's probably either 10 or 12 K. There's not a, um, vin a lot of vintage gold was 12 K in some places still do 12 K. Uh, but excuse me, I'm trying not to scratch my face, but the 10 K is still there. Let's see if I can show you without it running. It's going to run now. Um, but I can still see that under the 10 K, but I can't see it under the 14 K. So it's going to be either 10 carat or 12 carat because a lot of, like I said, some of the vintage gold was 12 carat. Okay. I'm going to wipe this off. I'm going to wash my hands real fast. If you guys want to wait and then we'll, um, do the gem tester. Woohoo! Yay. Who knew? Right. Okay. I'm going to throw this acid -y napkin away too. Washing my hands. Hang on. I'll be right back. We're coming. Hang on, I'm throwing this thing away. Okay. Yay! Oh, my chair is catching my dress. Let go, let go. Did I lose you guys? Okay, woohoo! Fabulous string if it's Kunzine. <laughs> that would be awesome, right? Okay, so let's get the gem tester out. Close this bad boy up. And we'll see. So this is the gym tester I got. It was pricey, but I, it's a tax write-off for me because I'm doing more and more jewelry now. So do I need to plug it in? Oh, I need to plug it in. Okay. So yeah, it's been a really good box, but I think maybe because the ring wasn't um, marked. I mean, there's a mark in there, but it's like really off and not great. So you can't really tell what it says. My box just fell. Hang on, let me plug this thing in. Here's the plug. Cause you need to see this. This is what the plug looks like. This is what the jack looks like. It's gonna plug over here <laughs> in the wall. And then the plug goes into the thing in the back. Boop, beep, boop, 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 there. Okay, so then we have to wait for the light. No, we have to turn it on. We turn it on. On. Why aren't you turning on? Okay, I did something wrong. Hang on. It's not supposed to do that. Hang on. I did something wrong. Oh, I forgot to gotta plug this in. This is the wand. <laughs> the wand. So we're plugging in the wand thing. In the instructions, they like to call this the probe, but I'm not gonna call it the probe just because. Okay, so now we're waiting. So now we're going to wait for the little light to turn on because that'll tell me it's ready. It's calibrated. So do you have a light switch for your socket? I'm confused. Like a plug? I have a plug over there, right there. Yeah. Pancake, what are you doing? Mm. Okay, the light's on. So when I, if you saw the gym testing, um, I, did, I played with it and tested a bunch of stuff. So if it lands in the little black areas, that's what it is. I know, right? I just can't. Well, now let's take the probe and take the um, protective cover off of our probe. Um, and then what we're going to do is very gently, <laughs> we're going to probe this stone gently. <laughs> okay, here we go. In case your parents ever hear you, yeah. All right, so then we're gonna make sure it's like up, straight up and down, press down and, um, well, it's going into a couple. So it's falling in, okay, so it's kind of falling into, what color does tourmaline come in? An iolite. So it's falling under, See, the cryophase, I'm, I'm sure I'm saying that right, chrysophase, phrase, rah, emerald and nephrite, those are green. Garnet, tourmaline, and iolite is the is where it's falling. But I don't know. What, how many colors does tourmaline come in? So 
and iolite. We need to look that up. Okay. Pink tourmaline. Is there a, okay, cool, cool. See, these are things I'm supposed to know. <laughs> oh, yay. Okay. So it looks like we've got a either 10 or 12 karat gold ring with pink tourmaline in it. Uh, oh, is it your birthstone? It's not my birthstone. <laughs> Iolite is blue. Okay, cool. How about that, you guys? Oh my gosh. So, <sighs> I'm excited. Do I keep it? Do I keep it? I can't believe that. Um, but yeah, the, the mark in it, I can show you the mark so you can see why they might have missed it. <clears throat> I'm gonna stop selling their thread up boxes now that they see that you can see the mark in there, but it's like halfway on, halfway off. So you couldn't really make out. I'm trying to, I mean, it looks like, no, you can't even, it's just hard to see what it is. Wear it for a while, you keep everything. I know. <laughs> you sound like my husband, Dan, just keeping everything. Yeah, <laughs> I might have to keep that one, at least for a while. That's the fun thing, though. It's like the whole like treasure hunting. That's the uh, the joy of it when you're like, this is a treasure I found in a thirty five dollar thread up box. So your ten pound thread up box has an item marked ten k. Oh, sweet! <sighs> Thank you, thread up. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah. So I hope you guys all have a really good holiday, whether you're celebrating Christmas or not, and just having fun or relaxing. Um, definitely. Maybe, maybe it was a 12 K mark. Maybe. Cause it does look kind of old the way that it's made you know, with the little flowers and leaves on the side. Nice. Um, but yeah, go down there. We got 90 friends watching. I'm so glad y'all can make it to today. Um, go down there and hit that thumbs up. We got one thumbs down. Somebody's jealous. Don't be jelly. Okay. Order your own thread up box. Maybe you'll get one. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, that was a really good one. But now I'm like, I already took the picture for my, my thumbnail. Cause I was like, there's no way I'm going to have a, a really good one. Cause the first one was pretty good. And so my, my thread up box thumbnail is already me going like that or something, but maybe I'll, I'll have to reshoot that. <laughs> okay. Oh, your son is home. Yay. Nice. That's nice. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to go cause I've, I've got 30 minutes. I've got to start baking some potatoes and getting some barbecue going for barbecue potatoes for dinner. And, uh, I hope you guys have a good evening and, and follow me on Facebook. I'm going to go put the uh, picture of those Marie Antoinette shoes that I was telling you about. It would match my new ring <laughs> and my eyeshadow, apparently. Maybe I knew my I put on way too much pink eyeshadow because I was going to get this crazy pink ring. Okay. <laughs> All right. Y'all know I'm just teasing. I'm not really. Anyway, whatever. Okay. Have a great evening, you guys. Um, and I'll, I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>